please get ready for a dictation of english rendering of pm's address at the webinar for effective implementation of union budget in power sector posted on 18 february 2021 by the press information bureau delhi 5 seconds start greetings my friends the country's energy sector has a big role to play in india's progress and development this is one sector which has a direct impact on both ease of living and ease of doing business today when the country is moving ahead with the goal of atmanirbhar bharat self reliant india the energy sector our power sector and emphasis on renewable energy has a pivotal role to play in order to escalate the pace of progress of this sector viewpoints of many of the experts from this sector have been taken into cognizance prior to the budget our team has mindful was mindful in aligning your suggestions with the budget today it is be it has been more than a fortnight since we announced the union budget you all have closely scrutinized the implications of this budget on your sector i am sure you have all deep dived into the aspects which may incur loss or reap profits and how your sector can leverage higher dividends i trust your advisors must have put in all the hard work and a blueprint must be ready by now now the government and your sector must work in conjunction on the way forward focusing on the actionable points and expediting the implementation of the announcements made in the union budget government and private sector must engage in proactive dialogue and proceed further by developing utmost trust friends the government has always maintained a very holistic approach towards the energy sector you all are fully aware of the state of affairs in the power sector when our party took over in 2014 i believe i surely do not need to reiterate the dismal situation of distribution companies associated with the power sector we have made continuous attempts to design and improve the policies keeping in mind the good of both the customers and the businessmen we are propagating the mantra of reach reinforce reform and renewable energy friends as far as the reach is concerned we have left no stone unturned to arrange the infrastructure required for touching last mile as far as providing electricity in every household is concerned it is almost like a new world for those people who have received electricity now even in 21st century these lives had not experienced electricity to reinforce about our capacity india has transformed from a power deficit country to a power surplus one in the past few years 
itself, we have enhanced a capacity of 139 gigawatts. India has also attained the target of one nation, one grid, one frequency. This would not have been possible without some reforms. Within Uday Yojana, we have issued bonds worth 2,32,000 crore rupees. This has encouraged financial and operational efficiencies in the power sector. To monetize assets of the power grid and infrastructure investment trust, invite has already been established and it will soon be opened up for investors. Friends, extra emphasis is being laid on the use of renewable energy to meet the requirements of electricity. We have been able to enhance the capacity of renewable energy by two and a half times within the past six years. During the same duration, India has seen a 15 times enhancement in the capacity of solar energy. Today, through the International Solar Alliance, India has emerged as the global leader in this sector. Friends, to meet the demands of 21st century, India has shown commitment towards inconceivable investment on infrastructure in this year's budget. Whether be it the introduction of mission hydrogen, domestic manufacturing of solar cells or large-scale capital infusion in the renewable energy sector, India is emphasizing on each and every sector. The demand for solar cell in our country for the next 10 years is 12 times more than our manufacturing capacity today. A huge market is awaiting us. You can well imagine the scale of future possibilities and such is magnitude of our country's needs. We wish to see our companies not only fulfill the domestic consumption demands but also dominate the world market and emerge as the global manufacturing champions. Government has connected the high efficiency solar PV mod modules with PLI schemes for which it is committed to invest over 4500 crore rupees. These investments will enable India to develop gigawatt level solar PV manufacturing facilities in India. We are achieving a positive track record of the success of PLI scheme. As soon as we linked mobile manufacturing with this scheme, we started seeing a lot of responses immediately. Now a similar response is expected for high efficiency solar PV modules. Under the PLI scheme, integrated solar PV manufacturing plants with a capacity of 10,000 MV MW will be built and an investment of around rupees 14,000 crore is slated to be made on them. The government estimates that this will incre create demand of more than 17,500 crores in the coming five years. This demand 
will play a big role in accelerating the development of the entire ecosystem of solar pv manufacturing friends to increase investment in the renewable energy sector the government has committed to an additional capital infusion of 1000 crore rupees in solar energy corporation of india similarly additional investment of rupees 1500 crores will be made in indian renewable energy development agency this is also a landmark step